Hey guys, Stinger 30 here. Um, I've just got back from my trip from Cairns on my Ninja 300. Um, I think Kawasaki is selling them short on this bike. Saying this thing is an entry level sports bike. I don't think they should sell this thing as an entry level sports tourer. It's that comfortable. The, um, the handlebars um, and the riding position, you're almost sitting bolt up right on the bike. Very, very comfortable indeed. Um, I've just got back um, from a trip to Cairns. I was up Cairns yesterday. I picked the bike up only two days ago and hopefully you can see the odometer there but it says 883 kilometers. Um, extremely good bike on the highway. I'm very very impressed. Um, the only thing I've really done to affect the performance on the bike is the um, put a uh, plus one sprocket on the front. Um, I've also put on the two brothers exhaust and um, a cane and air cleaner. I'm still waiting on the PC5 to show up. Um, but extremely, extremely good to ride on the highway. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, while I was in Cairns, also went up and down the Karenda Range as well as the Gillies Range as well. They handled those beautifully. Um, it's an extremely good bike to ride. Um, it doesn't matter if you're an entry level rider or a, um, an experienced rider. This bike is sensational. I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, well done Kawasaki, great job. But I just wish Kawasaki would stop aiming this thing just at beginners alone. You should aim this at um, experienced riders as well, someone who just wants a bike to get away as a getaway machine and also as an entry level sports tourer because it's that damn comfortable to ride. Um, absolutely brilliant machine. I just I cannot speak high enough about this machine. I can, um, I can see myself keeping this bike for many more years to come. Um, as you can see, I've also got my, um, my dry rider um, tank bag on the, on, the, um, on the fuel tank. I've also got some, um, this, is a, um, this material here is a, um, it's an anti-slip material. You can pick that up for only a couple of dollars down at your local Woolworths or El Cheapo throwaway store. Just top the thing up so it's the same size as the magnets on the, the bottom of the tank bag and stick down top of your tank so you don't wreck your tank. Um, I've also got the Kawasaki Genuine Touring screen on there as well. There is a, um, a, bit, of, is a bit of an air gap down here. You can, you know, I can almost stick my finger up underneath there. There's enough air to come out there to keep you cool. It was extremely hot today, close to about 37 degrees down the highway. I think it's probably even hotter than that. Um, and when, so long as you're cruising above, say, 60 kilometers an hour, You've got enough airflow to keep yourself cool. Get below about 60 and it gets rather warm. But other than that, fantastic motorcycle. Love it to bits. Looking forward to hanging on to this bike for quite a few more years yet and racking up many more thousands of kilometres on it. This is a great motorcycle. Absolutely great. And the ABS is nothing short of sensational as well. I did some test runs with it. Um, pulling myself up some from some reasonably quick sort of speeds. The ABS on this is nothing to be laughed at. It is a great, great system, a great matter bike, and it doesn't really matter who buys this bike. You're going to enjoy it. So I'll, um, I'll put some um, um, down the bottom in the description of the bike. I'll, um, uh, when I get home, I've, I've made a, um, a bit of a logbook of how far I've travelled, how much fuel I've used. I'll put those entries in the um, in the journal below. So you can just see how this thing went on a highway, and um, yeah, I, I, um, I'm really impressed. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. That, that's how good this bike is. I'm, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Great motorcycle. Um, if you're looking for a, if you're an entry level rider, and you're looking for a, uh, an entry into sports bikes, you can't go past it. If you're someone who's toying with the idea of getting yourself a sports tour later in life, again, buy one of these things. Um, if you're an experienced rider like I am and you, there's no need for you to carry your wife around in the back of your bike because she's been and got a license just like what I have. My wife's got a license, she's got, she's got her own bike and there's no need to carry her around the back. Then by all means, get yourself one of these things. You will not be disappointed. Um, even though it's only 300 cc's, you'll get people try and knock you and tell you, oh, you don't need, what do you need 300 cc's for? Oh, you should go and get yourself 600 cc's. Oh, you need 900 cc's. Well, you know, this may come as a bit of a shock to you. You can go and buy your 900cc bike, that's fine. But in first gear, you're going to lose your license. The speed limit on the highway is still only 100. And while you're losing your license, I'll be flying on by and I'll be getting myself no speeding tickets and I'll be getting 25 kilometres of fuel to the, um, 
25 litres, 25 kilometres per litre of fuel, and um, and I'll be keeping my licence. Um, fantastic. Don't let anyone try and tell you that 300 cc's is no good. They're full of it. Absolutely full of it. There's nothing wrong with this bike at all. This is brilliant. Um, so yeah, I, I as I said, I'm lost for words. I can't speak high enough about it. It's a fantastic motorcycle, bit for beginners or experienced riders. Whether you want to get yourself into sports bikes or sport tourists, I just can't speak high enough about this bike. And make sure you get yourself the ABS. It was well and truly worth the wait. I had to wait about four and a half weeks before I got mine. And to be honest with you, the bike is that good after spending a weekend on it. I would have been quite happy to wait another four weeks to get this bike because it's that damn good. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you later. See ya.